Hi everyone, I'm going to walk you through right now how to create a very uh, simple upload to Azure, Windows Azure, so that you can do your Node.js hosting uh, up here. Because we can't do it on our own servers because we don't, well, you don't really have access to get in there and actually run the stuff. Now I found that this was actually uh, pretty easy to manage. It wasn't, it wasn't too tough. Um, but if you have any questions, uh, do let me know, post in Piazza. Uh, seems like most of the questions I think are going to be around using Git, not necessarily around using Azure. So anyway, here I am at the Azure page. You can see the, the URL up there at the top. I'll post a link, but it's windowsazure.com, en-us, slash develop, slash node.js. Now, once you get here, you do have to have an account. Now, they, they have a free trial, and you can see the link up here for the free trial. Um, it, it's also pay-as-you-go, and we're going to be using stuff on the free tier, so it shouldn't cost you anything to do uh, anything that we are talking about right here. If you want to use a different host, like Heroku or something like that, you're welcome to do so. Um, this is just the one that I had the most success with in the quickest way. So when you're doing this, you're going to go up here and click on free trial and uh, try it now. You'll fill out uh, the basic information. You do need a credit card to put in there. Um, so if that's an issue, you might need to find another another hosting site. Uh, but it was it was very straightforward. Uh, I I can't really go through that process again because I've already signed up for mine. Uh, but it really wasn't a huge issue. So once you get uh, your account and everything is signed up and you're ready to go, um, the website you're going to go to is manage.windowazure.com. And when you go here, it'll ask you to log in. So I'm going to log in. I use my Gmail account. And it's going to kick me over to login, the live login. And I will log in here. And once you're here on the Windows Azure management page, this is where all the interesting stuff happens. Now, I actually uh, think that the tools here are pretty good. You can see I've already done two examples right here, and I'm going to show you those two. Those two, well, I'm actually not going to show you those two examples. I'm going to do a, a brand new one right here while we're sitting here. Um, so, actually, why don't we just go ahead and do that? Um, we're going to be making websites. I mean, we could be doing cloud services or things like that, but website was the easiest to do, and it uh, also was free, which is good. So I'm going to go down here to New, click New, and I'm looking under Compute, Website, From Gallery, okay? It's going to be a lot easier if we use a template to do this. So I pull up the pull up the template list. There we go. And as you scroll down, you'll find two Node.js templates. Uh, the empty site is actually the one we want. Uh, if you want to play with the starter site, by all means. But the empty site is actually pretty easy to use. Click over here. I'm going to call this one Sheriff Node 3 because that's just completely boring. And I'm in the eastern U.S. Note it's just going to be sheriffnode3.azurewebsites.net. It's under my free trial. I could switch it to pay as you go, but free trial is fine. Click the little check mark down here. And it's going to do some stuff. Creating, fun and exciting, doing stuff. Follow all the highlights down here. There we go. So click on Sheriff Node 3, and it comes up to the dashboard for Sheriff Node 3. Interesting fun stuff here, and more data than you can shake a stick at. Uh, it's it's a lot of interesting stuff. I, I'll let you look through all this at, 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 on your own. What I want to do is I want to do setup development from source control. This is the best way i found to get the code up there, uh, and I tried a few of these. Now, I tried Dropbox. Um, many of you probably use Dropbox. I actually was not terribly successful to, with Dropbox. Um, I might have just was naming my files incorrectly, and I might go back and try it again later. I haven't tried GitHub yet, um, but I have tried the local Git repository, and this actually worked really, really well. So I'm going to click local Git repository. It's going to do its thing. And here we go. I'm going to dismiss these. Uh, if you do not have Git installed, here's the link. You can go install Git. Uh, Git is uh, source code management. Many of you might have used it before if you've used GitHub at all. If you've never used Git before, there are tons of good tutorials out there, but the stuff that I'm going to show you right here should be sufficient for whatever... Uh, we need to do. So what I first want to do is I want to actually be able to download the files that are currently up on the website. 
So I've made a folder right here. You can see Sheriff Node 2 is already there. I don't really need Sheriff Node 2. Uh, I'm going to get a new terminal window. And let it think for a second. Excellent. And I want this line right here, the clone line. Okay. Now I'm going to copy this and go back here, paste it, run this line. It's going to ask me for a password. Now, I'll be honest with you, I do not remember where in the process it asked me to set up a password, but it did ask me to set up a password. So whenever you set up the password, that's the password that you're using here. I put that in. Now cloning means it's going to download all of the files currently on the server. So I go back over to the directory, look, there's Sheriff Node 3. I go in here, and here is fun and exciting stuff. Most importantly, I see that server.js. Now I'm going to go to Sheriff node 3 azure websites net hello world that was that was thrilling so go back over here open server.js and we see oh, it's a very nice little basic hello world app now notice that uh, they have this process.environment port or 8080 that's going to be important for running this on Azure because Azure might move the ports around without us knowing. So this way it just kind of happens without, without doing anything interesting. Now I am going to go grab some of the code we did in class. Mm, Hello.js. Ah, oh, great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I don't know, I'll grab all of this because I'm going to use their server listen command. Come back over here. Well, let's just grab, let's just grab the stuff inside. That that'll be easy enough. Grab the stuff inside and paste. And they call theirs rec and rest as opposed to request and response. I don't feel like rewriting things. Let's do that. Grab URL back. Great. So uh, this is going to put some stuff on the console. So that's not terribly interesting. So let's also do response dot write write. Let's drop a line or two, and then I'll print, well, I don't know, uh, dot, not dot, this is not PHP, path name is colon space plus path name. Excellent. So that should print whatever was right there. I save this, and now what I need to do is I need to push that code back up to Windows Azure. So what I need to do is this. Git add server.js. And I'm not in the directory, so that would be a problem. Let's go over to Sheriff Node 3. Excellent. Git add server server.js. Ta-da. Git commit the change. And the message is new file. So I've oh, it doesn't like exclamation points. Git commit new file, but can't be exciting about it apparently. So, all right, I've committed the change. Now, how do I push it up? Well, I come back over here and there are two lines to copy. This first one, this really long one right here, when I come back over here and post it, what that does is it sets it up so that now whenever I want to push new changes, I make this command, git push Azure master. Run that and watch what happens. We see some jazz going on over here, and then all of a sudden over on Azure, there we go. It says, hey, you pushed up new code, and it's the new active deployment. Sweet. I come back over here. I run this. Oh, it, <sighs> anyway, path name is slash. I have a path name, users, rock and roll. I've just pushed my Node.js app up to Windows Azure, and it works perfectly fine. So if I wanted to make more changes, I could come back, make the changes, I add server.js again, I recommit the change, and then I push back up to Azure, and that's basically it. So if you have any questions, post on Piazza, see if you can get your account made and push up some simple code, and I will see you all on Monday.